You know, a lot of people are overwhelmed or confused by MyFitnessPal, and so they never get around to using it. In this video, I want to clear up the confusion and show you the simplest way to use it so you can start tracking your food today and crushing your nutrition goals. Let's get started. Welcome to Spirit and Muscle, where faith meets fitness. I'm Young Gerald, Certified Personal Trainer. If you're watching this video, I know that you know the importance of tracking your food intake. Whether your goal is to lose fat or gain muscle or a little of both, tracking your food is not optional. And MyFitnessPal is the number one nutrition tracking app. So you will need three things before we get started. The first thing you'll need is a smartphone. MyFitnessPal is compatible with Android or iPhone. Mine happens to be an Android, but the iOS version is nearly identical. The second thing you'll need is an inexpensive food scale. I've seen food scales for sale on Amazon as low as $7.99 up to $50, depending on all the extra features. But honestly, all you need is an inexpensive food scale. And the third thing you'll need is your daily calorie and macronutrient goals. If you have a coach, use the numbers he or she provided for you. Or you can use an online calorie calculator like the Spirit and Muscle Calorie Calculator, which is based on the Mifflin St. Jor equation, which I have found to be the most accurate one. Now, no calorie calculator is guaranteed to be 100% accurate, but this is a good place to start. Then after tracking your calories for a couple weeks and watching the scale and watching your waistline, you can make adjustments as necessary. Okay, so here we are. The first thing we're going to do is search for MyFitnessPal, all one word, on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. And once you find it, click Install. And then once it's done installing, open up the app and click Sign Up. The next few screens are hoops you have to jump through to set up an account. So don't worry too much about what you enter because we're going to be entering our own custom nutrition goals manually once we're in the app. So just choose uh, modify my diet or something and hit next. And hit next again. And I'm going to hit uh, track macros. Again, it doesn't matter too much. I'll say lightly active for activity, uh, male, I am a male, so I'll choose that. Let's see, age, zip code, and next, and then height, if you want to uh, use inches or centimeters, you can change that. Uh, weight, you can change to kilos or stone or pounds, next. Uh, let's see hit next and then if you make a mistake or you want to change anything just hit the back button Then enter your email and create a password Hit next and we're almost in How did you hear about choose one and boom you are in and you land on a screen asking for money But hey coach you said it was free don't worry, it is free. You're in the free version. There's no need to pay for premium. All you have to do is hit the back button and now, boom, we're finally in. So this is what the home screen looks like. You can see plans and recipes and tons of features that frankly I don't use. And they want to make this like a social media experience, but I use MyFitnessPal strictly to track my calories and macros. So with that in mind, click on me at the bottom right and we're going to scroll down a little click on update goals so don't worry again about the starting weight current weight goal weight we're just going to be using it to track calories so under nutrition goals click on the top one that says calories carbs protein and fat goals then click on calories and here is where we're going to enter our daily calories from our coach or the calorie calculator. In my case, 1,866 total calories. Click save, then click on carbohydrates and a new window pops up 
showing your carbs, protein, and fat percentages. And you can adjust the percentage of each macro by sliding up or down. So adjust the percentages to your coach's instructions, or in my case, 40% carbs, 35% protein, and 25% fat. And notice at the bottom it says macronutrients must equal 100. 100%. So it won't let you off this page until it equals 100%. Then click the check mark at the top right of the screen and it displays your customized values. If everything looks good, hit the back button a couple times and it takes you back to the home screen. Now with your updated calorie goals right on the very top. Okay, now we're ready to start tracking our food intake. There are basically three ways to track your nutrition with MyFitnessPal and I'll show you one at a time. The first way and the easiest and the one you'll probably use the most is to take advantage of the MyFitnessPal database. The plus is there are 14 million foods in this database so you're bound to find just about anything you're looking for. The minus is there are a lot of duplicates and not all foods are accurate so you do have to be careful. Okay, so to add a food from the database, first click on Diary at the bottom of the screen. This is where you're going to spend 90% of your time in this app. Then click on Add Food under whatever meal you're eating. In the search bar, type the food you want to add. So for breakfast, eggs sounds like a good breakfast food. So let's type in eggs and you can see here you have tons of choices. You have large eggs, jumbo eggs, different brand name eggs. Uh, just choose the one that's closest to what you're eating. And by the way, the green little green check mark means it's MyFitnessPal verified food. So it's a little safer food choice than foods without the green check mark. So I'm just going to click on the top one. Looks basic enough. Uh, you can change the serving size or number of servings by clicking on that. I'll have two eggs, so I'm going to change it to two servings, then click the check at the top right to add it. Then if you go back to your diary, you can see that for breakfast, so far I have had two eggs. Okay, the second way to add food is to add it manually. So we're going to click add food, then click on my foods at the top right then click on create a food and there you can add the brand name, description, serving size and nutrition information. But to be honest, I rarely use this feature because the database is so huge. You can almost find anything you're looking for. Okay, the third way to add food is to use the scan barcode feature. To use it, we're going to click add food then scan a barcode, then point the camera to the barcode that you want to scan and it automatically enters all the information. You can change the serving size or number of servings if you want, then click the check mark at the top right and it adds it to your diary. You will need a food scale at times, like when you add a single food item like meat or cheese, Say for dinner, you're going to have grilled chicken. So click add food, then search for grilled chicken and find the closest match to what you're eating. The top one looks fine. So weigh out your cooked grilled chicken. If it's four ounces, like it says here, then you're all set. If you're eating a little more or a little less, then less then you need to change the number of servings to reflect what you're actually eating. Then when you're done, click the check mark on the top right and that's about it. Click back to get to your diary and now you can see the top tells you how many calories you've eaten and how many you have remaining. And if you click on it and then click on nutrients, you can see how many grams of protein, carbs and fat that you've eaten so far, your goal for the day and how much you have left to reach your goal. So if you want to see what you ate yesterday, you can click on this little arrow on the left. Or if you want to pre-plan what you're going to eat tomorrow, you can click the right arrow. 
so that's about it it's really pretty simple don't let all that other stuff you see confuse you just use it to track your food and once you've eaten a certain food it adds it to your history so next time you eat that food you can find it even easier to see why tracking your food is superior to intuitive eating click right here or you can check out my video on nutrition for beginners right here god bless you and i'll see you in the next video